Like a monster assembled from dismembered design ideas from the world of esports and reanimated through unholy magic, Crucible attempts to forge a greater whole through the fires of interstellar warfare. This sci-fi multiplayer third-person shooter is a battle royale at one moment, the next it's a back-and-forth team affair closer to a MOBA, and it's topped off with a hero shooter veneer. It's a bold idea, but its hat-juggling culminates in lifeless wildlife hunts, lonely team fights, and excruciatingly slow matches. While there's only one massive map in Crucible, the rules of engagement shift depending on which of its three modes are in play, and each one contains a smattering of PvE amidst the competitive PvP shootouts. There's Alpha Hunters, where eight teams of two duke it out to be the last duo standing, Harvester Command, an 8v8 conquest to suck up 100 resource points before the enemy team, and finally Heart of Hives, a 4v4 where teams have to topple insectoid hive structures and collect the gooey resources within. The last one is the star attraction, but that's a low bar to clear. In order to compete against the other team, you have to hunt creatures to gain XP and level up, which is a pain because it's extremely boring. The most common creatures to hunt are these stompers, and they're nowhere near as dangerous as they look. They just waddle towards you at a comically unthreatening pace, with no trace of interesting behavioral patterns, gleefully swallowing on your lead aspirin and dealing next to no damage. On the surface, Crucible's lack of traditional tank, healer, and DPS roles might sound like it'd create dynamic combat, but in practice, it's fairly shallow. Each character has five or six distinct offense-centric skills and must rely on medkits found throughout the map for healing, so everybody's pretty self-sufficient. But as the bodies pile up, it becomes obvious how lonely Crucible's PvP is. Bizarrely, it's a team-based game that doesn't encourage teamwork at all. There's no in-game voice or text chat, which makes communicating with your comrades unnecessarily difficult, and the ping system is nowhere near as versatile or in-depth as the one in Apex Legends. Let's group up! Let's group up! Worse yet, combatants are only in it for themselves. That's mainly due to the fact that each hunter's toolkit leans heavily on self-preservation rather than providing support to others. Only a few have abilities like a smoke bomb or shield that let you back up an ally in trouble, so teamfights end up as shallow arena battles thanks to the lack of synergy between hunters. Match pacing has a nasty habit of being dreadful, and it's largely because of the terrible respawn system. Every time you die, there's a 30 second wait before you're able to get back in a match in Heart of Hives, and following that, another 8 seconds for the drop pod to take you back to the planet's surface. Yes, yes! You are learning! There's nothing to do during that time because you can't even talk to your team about a potential change of tactics. And when you do arrive, it takes forever to get back to the fight. Character movement speed is agonizingly slow, the map is gargantuan, and respawn points are often as far away from the objectives as can be. Way too much time is wasted just trudging around trying to get to the action. The Alpha Hunters mode, meanwhile, is a horrendous take on Battle Royale with no scavenging or survival, so what's the point? The one highlight is that when your duo is the last standing, you have to fight your teammate for the ultimate win. Incoming! Finally, Harvester Command is just a battlefield-like conquest mode. That'd be fine, except fights are more frequent, so you'll probably die more often, and that means even more time wasted respawning. Crucible's ambitious marriage of PvE and PvP has resulted in a whole that's less than the sum of its parts, especially thanks to the awful match pacing and agonizingly slow respawn system. Get down. With continued support, it might evolve into something decent, but the underlying issues will take a massive overhaul to remedy. Instead of putting its various moving parts through a vigorous trial that leads to the creation of something new and exciting, Crucible gathers the ashes and tosses them to the wind. For more on Crucible, check out our full written review on IGN.com or watch 10 minutes of gameplay. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN. That piece of alpha for the witch! Hi